I get excited about the simplest things. And speaking of things I get excited about, sex. That grumpiness or tension, that is gonna repel her, right? And she, she like cups her hands for like how to put it on your hiney, I guess. Hey friends, welcome to the Exo Marriage YouTube channel where you get real marriage advice from real people. You're watching Fridays with Dave and Ashley. We're Dave and Ashley Willis, hosts of the Naked Marriage Podcast. And we're kind of geeking out this morning because we got a brand new camera oh, on our computer. Oh. And it came in the mail yesterday and... And I just keep wanting to like point at the at the lens. <laughs> we just want you guys to have it's the best exciting. experience. And so we get right. we get excited about the simple I get excited about the simplest things. And speaking of things I get excited about, sex. Yes. Sex, very high on the list, probably the top of the list. And so we want to make a video today specifically to help you husbands out there know how to best prepare for an optimal experience sexually for both you and your wife with some tips and tidbits and just help everyone involved. Not everyone involved. It sounds like it's a group thing. No, it's just two of you. <laughs> help both of you involved really thrive and enjoy the moment. So my love, right. speak to us stubborn pig-headed men that, that we no. sometimes miss. I mean, I do. I miss the mark sometimes. What do we need to know that would help create that mood in a better way? I'm going to start with hygiene, okay? And of course, this would go for women as well. This feels but personal already. Be clean. Don't go on a run and think your sweaty musk is going to be a turn on. Now, there might be some women out there where that is. Most ladies I know, you want a clean man, like a freshly cleaned man. Yeah, because you watch shows and it's like these sweaty people yes. that are like, you know, all he comes home, he's all sweaty and she's kissing. like, oh, and they're just pawing each other. And there's a Prince song that says, the sweat of your body covers me. That's so good. Okay. You picture this. <laughs> this is what it sounds like when doves cry. And so like when we, doves cry. we romanticize this sweaty imagery, but really yes. hygiene is better than sweat, right? If you're going to sweat, sweat in the act, okay? But leading up, sweat is not attractive. And with that also, you know, your body musk, you want it to be nice. But your breath, I mean, that's just practical. Like, brush your teeth, have some mint. Or like, <laughs> back in middle school. Floss. We Floss had, what teeth. was it, be, be, Bianc? Well, now there's this Bananca. body deodorant. And I can't help but doing this with my Oh hands. my gosh, this, lady, this might work. This might work, we don't know. There's this lady that's doing these commercials. It's called Lumi. Lumi. I think advertising. it's probably cool. And it's like. basically crotch deodorant. Yeah. And she, she like cups her hands for like how to put it on your hiney, I guess. And it's it's so vivid and haunting. It with you. And, yeah. but apparently the odor does not stick with you. Mm -hmm. And it says, you know, the five hours after a sh shower, like the smell meter. And I'm like, who smelled I don't someone's do that person. butt five hours after a shower to, to mark this? Like, how did you get that job? I don't I want to smell people's sweaty rear ends. Like, what's the, the resume process? I don't I want to smell people's sweaty rear ends to see oh, if the Lumi's working. Anyway, I'm off, you know. But if that's a thing, that could be helpful, you know, possibly. Hey, there's so stuff out there, guys. Let's let's just make sure hygiene's good. Okay, so number two. What, what about groom? Like, do you, what about manscaping? One eternity later. Whatever she's you into, know, guys, you know, do, do that. Um, be nice. Seems like a no-brainer. Well, sometimes though, like we're grumpy because we're, you know, yes. wanting sex and we're yes. like, oh, yes. I just need to, you know, to make love and then I'll feel better. But that, that grumpiness or tension, that is going to repel her, right? And so guys, just, you got to be nice. You got to be tender. You've got to Again, be sweet. oh, the women are just turned on by your anger. Like you guys, that's just in the movies, okay? That's not true. Like you got to, especially in marriage, you should be nice and respectful anyway. And honestly, it's everything you do outside the bedroom that really affects how it goes inside the bedroom. But I've heard some wives say they get really turned off when their husband knows it's gonna happen. Like maybe they've scheduled it or it's like a date <laughs> night and he's nice only on that day. 
and mean <laughs> other days. Haven't we heard? We've heard people right. write it, and they said right. so. Then it feels like they're being manipulated. So just be nice all the time, but, okay? But to the guy's point of view, he's going to be nicer when he knows sex well, is he's coming. Excited, but you should be. It, it's nice a double-edged all sword. You should be nice all yes. the time. Yes. You should be nice all the time. Don't be a jerk, guys. But most guys are gonna just knowing sex is gonna happen makes you nicer. It's like you know. But guys, even if sex isn't gonna happen, you've got to be nice. You you just need to be nice because your yes. lady deserves your niceness. I feel like we just had an office moment where he's like, guys, but guys, 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 guys. guys, guys. <laughs> I don't know why. I, there is a little Michael Scott there is. in me. Some yeah. of you are just now realizing, oh my gosh, that's who he looks like. That's that's, that's yes. why he looks familiar. We've got a lot more conversation starting content here on the Exo Marriage YouTube channel and on our Naked Marriage podcast. So if you've got ideas of what we could add here, put that in the comments and also yeah. write us on Instagram. We're at Dave and Ashley Willis. We would love to interact with you on Instagram. We will see you guys next time on Fridays with Dave and Ashley. Bye-bye.